Welcome back to Up North at Four. David Max joining me now. A couple of guys from the Old Pine Road Band. You guys just recently came out with your debut album. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot sir. of time in the making, I would assume, right? Years in the making. Ye years. I, I, I can't tell years. So I, actual years. Actual years. Years in the making. Years in the making. How many years are we talking? Man, going back to like the very beginning when I started coming up with the ideas and like putting pen to paper for them, mm -hmm. I mean, five years probably. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, so five years of blood, sweat, tears, everything. A lot of learning and mistakes uh -huh. and relearning. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a really fun, tedious, frustrating process. I can and, imagine. Uh, yeah, so, so glad to have it out. Finally. So when you were finally done, the album's finished, what, what's the first gut reaction from you? <laughs> like just, it's, it's finished. Yeah, when I finally like put it out and mm -hmm. it was like, I'd sent it in, you know, you have to send it into a distributor and, and whatnot like that, but uh, the stores all have to approve it and right. whatnot. So I just, when I had sent click and pushed that through, it was just so much elation because it really was such a long stretched out oh process. God, yeah. I don't think the average album takes five years <laughs> to, to put together, but um, we did everything in it ours, ourselves. Mm -hmm. I, I, when I started this album, it was in the corner of my living room in my two bedroom apartment. I had like, you know, the little home studio set oh up and God, I started yeah. kind of laying down some of those basic tracks. Uh, but we wrote, um, played, recorded, every single stage of this album ourselves. The, uh, wow. the cover art is from a painting I did. Like every single bit of this uh, has had like our hands on it. So uh, it took a long time, but right. it, absolutely a labor of love and you know, just smearing our love all over it. We <laughs> really, uh, really stoked about it. So it's called Lang Roots. Do I got that right? Yes, sir. What's, uh, what's this album all about? What are you hoping people take away from this thing? Well, um, so Lang Roots is actually I suppose it's the time to announce it. It's the first part of a trilogy of albums that we're oh, doing. Okay. Um, Laying Roots is is literally just that. Um, I started this process on my own, very limited equipment, limited mm -hmm. space. Um, I mean, I literally recorded the vocals for a lot of this in a shed in my mom's backyard. Like, wow. set up a vocal isolation booth, like, very hodgepodge, you know. But you were, like, dedicated, obviously. Oh, very, Good, very, very. I mean, like I said, labor of love. Every, every single bit of it, songs that uh, I wrote and then... Uh, played and did the whole process on. So, uh, yeah, that just, it, it took a very long time. Very, very uh, kind of, you know, just thrown together. I can't even remember what the question we started with was, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's been a labor of love. Uh, absolutely. So, trilogy, though. Trilogy, got, that's what we started. We got two more eight. coming as well. You are such a professional. Thank you. I try. So we, there's two more albums coming. Okay. This first one is kind of our foundation laying roots. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the one of the last times I was on here, I talked about the recording studio that we right. opened yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Um, nothing on this album, I think, was done in the recording studio. Really? All this was like done in the living room. The, the recording <laughs> studio is a new thing. So the next album, okay. um, which I suppose I'll drop the name of, and we're actually going to play a song off of today. Ooh. The next album is called Branching Out. Okay. So okay. laying roots, branching, branching out. out. There's there's a theme. We won't right. drop the third one, but there's a theme, and and the albums will uh, kind of push conceptually a little yeah, what we're yeah. doing. We're gonna try to get a little bit more and more creative with each one. Uh, so the second album will be the first one where it's a collaborative effort, okay. or a more collaborative effort, I should say. When okay. I started this again, it was all myself, and so a lot of just my own stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a group working. We're in a recording studio. We have, you know, we we the space is ours, so we're kind of just piecing this together. So we're hoping by the end of the summer to drop the next one, so there won't be a five year gap. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Maybe not waiting as one. long between the the next couple. Albums. Yeah. Then, so it started just you five years ago. Yeah. Obviously, you got a group of guys now working with you. Max, when did you kind of get involved with this project here? Uh, David and I met about a year ago at oh, Jack okay. Pine Chambery, a festival down in Burnham Wood. Yeah. And we've been playing shows together ever since. Okay. Uh, Scott Kirby actually introduced us, oh, really? uh, yep. another Thanks, local Scott. legend here. Oh, so, yeah, nice. thank you. It just, just goes to show how these musicians kind of piece together these things that grow into... It's like a, a little stuff. network, I yeah, guess, Yeah, for sure. Community. Yeah, Family, yeah. Definitely. So, I, I, I'm kind of curious then, too, off of that, is there any plans in the future? Obviously, a couple more albums on the way, but is there plans in the future to kind of start collaborating with other artists, kind of expanding oh, for sure. a little bit? for sure. So... Um, when I say like this first album, I, you know, I did a lot of like the, the, the guitar, bass, mandolin and those mm -hmm. rhythms. Um, uh, but along the way, I met Thor Gunderson, who okay. uh, he, uh, he owns a bar actually called the Big Dipper up in Pike Lake, visited. Mm -hmm. um, but he is a phenomenal guy. Uh, and he played drums uh, on the entire album oh, okay. uh, and added the percussion element. 
Uh, Chris Skinner is another instrument, uh, mm -hmm. or another musician we've met along the way who uh, plays a mean harmonica, a Chapman mm -hmm. stick. Uh, our good friend Scott Rocks, a phenomenal percussionist out of Wakefield. So the Old Pine Road Band has kind of grown into a collaborative of different musicians and, and backgrounds and styles. And so the future work will keep expanding on that and yeah. kind of have everybody bringing something to the plate. And uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's cool how this serendipitous, like this uh, expansion of the group has been. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, when I started off, uh, very, very, you know, difficult to find guys that can commit to doing all the work. Because it is. It's a lot of work, a lot of yeah, time um, and effort. Um, so, yeah, to, to meet these people along the way that have just contributed so much to my life, my career. I just love these guys to death and can't thank uh, all of them enough. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm excited to be able to sit down and just listen to this album the whole way through. And, of course, the next two coming. Oh. I'm going to have that circled. You're going to have to let me know the date. Yeah, yeah. Make sure it's on Spotify, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, anywhere that you listen to or stream music. Just look up the Old Pine Road Band. And if you don't remember that, you can always visit oldpineroadband.com, and we've got links there. Sounds great. Well, you two, uh, we wish you guys the best of luck in the future. This is so fun. Thank I you. can't wait to listen to the album. We're going to hear a little sampling, though, of your music Ooh. that's coming up next, though. So stick with us on Up North at 4.